Bada bomb. Ba ba bada bomb. Beep ba ba. Remember that fucking song back in the day? Beep ba ba bada bomb. Ba ba bada bomb. That was a fucking horrendous song, but I just remember cruising. Well, not cruising around. I would walk in a boot as a kid, just beep ba ba bada bomb. The f it's like that. I'm blue. I'm on it. I'm on I still to this day don't know what the fuck he said. And welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to yet another edition of the Visual Guys News. Where is the dog? There he is, the little Lincoln poop. We, we need to make sure. Make sure that you are identified. We had a we had a bacon roll before. <laughs> I somehow covered his ear in ketchup. The way of saying that is tomato sauce. Why you stood like 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 you're like I don't know, look like you're an abused child. Just don't hurt me, father. Why? What the fuck is your problem? Again, he's got bye. That was the Optimus appearance. How are you, lovely bastards? All doing it? He's all well. At the time of recording, it was a week ago. I, as much as I'm fucking Jordy, I love the football. I fucking love that too. I adore football so much. I cannot stand international football. If I was the un un presidente of uh, f the fuck was that? The football. The president of the football. I would ban it nationals. It bores the shit out of me. I don't care. I don't give a fuck if England win. I don't care if Germany, Argentina, Switzerland, Brazil, America. I couldn't give a flying fuck who wins international football. I like club football. It's the best. But everybody last week, oh, England's going to get out of the 1-0. Jude Bellingham, 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 Bellingham. England and then uh, Harvey Kane. Can you take the piss out of people with uh, speech impediments? People with speech impediments. Speech impediment. Imped imped Independence Day. Because Harry Kane's going to try and my head's got milk and I've got diabetes. Fuck no, Harry Kane doesn't give a shit if a fat knobhead is in his bedroom surrounded by toys taking a piss out of a speech and pedal because he's rich as shit. The, the, the country for the last couple of week, weeks has been a bit like, oh, it's boring, Gareth Southgate out, but we're through, but, you know, still get out and we're through. I don't care. Uh, poor Anthony Gordon fell off his bike and that's all I'm bothered about. What are you anyway, visuals? Did you have a lovely week? I don't think... Uh, oh, no, wait, it's this weekend. I've got a weekend of, once again, epicness. Uh, hopefully... <laughs> Shut your fucking mouth! All dependent on when our Lego Bumblebee set comes. We've got Lego Bumblebee to build. Lego Gotham City at the girlfriend's house. WWE Money in the Bank! To what? Why are you barking, dog? It's raining. I don't see... Uh, I don't see any... Uh, a desert, not a people's about sa- He's just being, it's just being a cunt. Sponsors wet dream I am. Shouting uh, nonsensical bullshit on a video that's just completely fucking winged and just whatever happens happens shouting the word cunt. Why is it people are so offended by the word cunt? The more people are offended, the more people I want to use the more people I want to use it, the more people I want to use it on. Because to me, the word, the word cunty cunt is just the same as fuck or Penis. What's uh, what's I would say? I'm going to fuck your fucking fang and fanny off, you twat. That shit. I think it's our lovely neighbours across the pond, isn't it? That that get more offended by that word. Uh, when you say that, it's very much. <gasps> it, it's probably a horrible event like 9/11 and the word cunt. I don't know if they'll be able to choose which one's worse. <laughs> Just coming off the back of one of the most, well, actually, you know, the time recording, it has been, but the time's video goes, the time's video goes live. It's not, but it, the last week was a horrible week at work. I'm the only fucking, my, my girlfriend always, that's why I still got a girlfriend. I still got a girlfriend. Because I'm a, tip, I'm a typical bloke, you know, you get you get ailments, you get illnesses, you get injuries, and you don't do nothing about it. What's that like, that video? Uh, you, know, you know, you got a bad back, be a man. Uh, do nothing about it. I, I'm that kind of bloke, you know, back's fucked, knees swollen to shit and fucked. Do I do anything about it? Hells no. Why? Because I'm a man with a dick. You know what I mean? If I'm, if I'm chilling somewhere, walking down and like a fucking a sniper just fucking blows off me fucking my, my, what's the artery that's in there that sometimes gushes out? But you forever get artery. I'd be like, I'll be fine. Just fucking stick, print, stick and paper on it. We're good to go. Right, you know, I, I I don't know if I'm about to do a sexism here, but I can't remember the last time I cried over pain. Like you know, I remember being a kid, being like four, and be like, Wah! but like as a grown man, uh, I you know I've done shit at proper wrecks and hurts. I've been stabbed. I've been sliced. I've broken or damaged shit and that. To blokes, 
they lose the ability to cry in pain anymore. Like, you even see it in the films when somebody's, like, fucking half, cut in half or whatever. They're just like, ah, ah. But they're not, they're not crying. Is that, is that, like, a thing or am I just making it up in my head? Probably. But anyway, we need to get to, we need to get the notes. I've left the notes in the note holder. You can just... I hate doing it. Like that. There, that took my finger. That looks weird on my hand like that. There's the notes. All right, let's go and get over. We do our sexually provocative pose. Ah! Stretch like that, that fucking hurt. Like, oh, my knee. Happy birthday, Mr. President. Happy birthday. Tell ya. As well, I've been absolutely loving the uh, the presidential debate shenanigans that's been going on with uh, Donald Trump and Joe Biden. I don't understand how America, the most powerful country in the world, well, so we're led to believe, uh, and they're, <laughs> they're having this reality TV show star with a horrible tan and, and some very fake hair and a guy that's not got a clue whether it's Wednesday or Sunday having a debate to lead the country. Joe Biden, billions, no, trillions, no, no millions in his... And then Trump's like, I have no idea what he just said. And it's like, you two are going to be in control of the United States of America. One of you two. The fuck? I think you, surely you look at that and you go, I know people that would be way better up for this sort of d debate, this 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 job type. I don't think either of you two are worth... I don't know fuck about politics. I don't claim to know anything about politics. But I think there'll be some people out there a lot better suited than shit air and... Who's here? Biden. The conspiracy night at work would say Binden because that's not a real person. That's he died years ago. This is this this is a clown. Anyway, visuals. That's you know, that's that's Donald Trump. The, oh shit! Do you have your beverages or your cocoa based beverages? Oh, we, we do. As presented. But as well, right? I've woke up. I don't know if you can see that. Hi, knee. Like, oh no, the camera can't really. Pick, I'm, now it looks like I'm just blagging. You can kind of see a bit of red there. I woke up with a random, like, it's like a weird scratch. I may be possessed by a demon. Walk into the house and just be like, I'm going to go haunt this person's house. And they're just thinking, better not. I think he's mentally handicapped. Would a demon judge? I don't think a demon would. I reckon if, if you're getting fucked up by a demon, I reckon they're going to say the most homophobic, uh, racist, weird bullshit ever. Because you know I me, mean? the demons are the bad guys and girls. Do you get girl demons? Yeah, you do, don't you? Just gonna say some horrible, horrible shit. Just be like, ah, oh, Satan, ah, oh, you are fat as fuck. Body shaming, because then if if you say that's a racism, they're not gonna, they're gonna be like, I'm about to drag you to hell, mate. We've got pedos, we've got rapists, we've got horrible cunts down there. What do you think you were gonna get? You're not gonna be like, hey, uh, my name's fucking Fred. I'm a demon. Um, fancy popping to hell? Just quickly. Just, no, no, sorry, take your time. Just need to grab her up a bag, a few things. Yeah, come on then. You know, they can walk out and they go, fat, fucking horrible cunt. For a reason as well, I don't trust angels. I mean, not that I believe in any of this shit anyway, but I'm just saying, if an angel did pop down, I would be a little bit like, I've seen you angels do some dodgy shit. Fuck off. And then, what are we on about? Anyway, the canoes and news. Let's start as we mean to go on. Why is my writing upside down on both sides? So it's normal, but then it's upside down. I have local fish in a great mood today. What this, this is just... Actually recording this on a Monday, uh, so it's quite nice because usually people get the Monday the Monday blues, isn't it? I don't know if the Monday blues is the same as blue balls, but you know it's Sunday. People have been out all weekend, especially when watching the England game. But no, you know they're a bit work. Like, they're a bit. And uh, but this local fish is happy. He's. I don't know why he's happy. I don't know how they know he's happy. He may just look happy. That might be the only expression that he's got. Just but inside he's going, kill me. Kill me, please. But his outside can only go because his fish can't talk. But anyway, local fish, very happy for a Monday. See, back in Florida, as we have to be. I love our little Flo Florida region. Flo Flo um, <laughs> a man in Florida uh, woke with a headache only to discover his wife had shot him in the head while he slept. Don't worry, though. He survived. That's right. Not only in Florida, we've got people shitting from lampposts or whatever the fuck they were. We've got people... My girlfriend showed me a video of a Florida guy just wrangling a, an alligator or a crocodile, whichever one it was, and the police were there, and they're like, we can't do it. And he's like, get here, boy. I'm going to walk off with you, and he just trottles off with it. What the fuck's going on? We've seen weird robberies, meth labs. We've seen everything there is from Florida. 
But now we find out that people are now invulnerable to bullets. So if the species of the Florida region ever takes over, they're probably going to win the, 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 the human war because they just don't die. But this poor bloke was sleeping, having a nap. His missus was like, I goddamn got you, Bernie, you son of a bitch. I knew you slept with my sister. I knew you took my last beer, boy. I don't know if that's how they speak in Florida. In fact, they don't, but hey, up. You took the last beer, boy. You go fuck my sister. And it popped me in the end. He's woke up and went, oh, I've got a fucking headache. Me later. Now he's a Geordie. Now he's a Geordie. I've got a fucking headache. Me later. I better get doctors. And they're like, oh, you've been shot in the fucking head. And he's like, all right. I need bother. Get us a fucking Griggs and get a pasty. And that's it. Somehow survived. Spikes his goodbye uh, cake uh, at work uh, with uh, laxatives. Uh, a chaos ensues as, as people shit everywhere. That's right. We've got this blokey who's... It's his last day of work. I, I'm assuming if you're having a goodbye celebration, it's your last day. Uh, what's it? Mutually. Yeah, the, the employer and the employee are both like, yes, it's time for me to move on or whatever. Let's have a goodbye because if you've been sacked, it's like... Get out, you're, well, there you go, back to Donald Trump, you're fired, um, and away you go. But he's like, hi everybody, thanks for a lovely time working here. We've got a cake for everybody. Next thing you know, he's left the office and everybody sat there, uh, shitting their britches. There's just, there's feces, fecal matter everywhere. So what a way to do a send off. Because like I said, most people have like a few pints and a few bevies. You might get into a, a fist fight at your local pub or whatever. No, this guy was like, I'm going to leave with a good positive message. I'm going to leave with everybody's bowels nice and empty. And away we go. Clean start for me. Very not clean start for you. So I feel sorry for anybody that gets a future job with this person. I'm assuming he must have hated the job. And he's like, yeah, I'm moving on. And then everyone there is like, Karen, I really hated you. You're a dick. Your dogs look like shit and your haircut's annoying. Michael, no one gives a fuck that you once had a homosexual awakening in college. Lisa, your tits are uh, fake as fuck. And Michael, my boss, uh, I touched your wife's bum at the last Christmas do. Have a cake, everybody. And then, pfft, I imagine that's how it ended. This, I, I already have a bit of a weird feeling with vicars and priests and what goes on in church, really. Um, and this kind of just doesn't help reinforce my bad stereotype for priests anyway. Uh, but not irreverent. I don't know what the di difference between a reverend and a priest and a vicar is. I don't fucking know. Um, the age of 74, caught having uh, sex with a Henry the Hoover in church while wearing stockings. But, you know, as if that wasn't bad enough, he claims that it was his, uh, like, lack of diabetic medicine that, that caused it. <laughs> so we've got in, there's a retired priest guy. He's getting sucked off by Henry the Hoover. Not going to lie. Watch Scary Movie for Wonder if that works. Find out next episode if we tried it or not. Uh, he's wearing the stockings as well. That's a different kind of kink, isn't it? He's, I mean, at least there was no kiddies. We know what the priests and that, uh, we know what the Catholic Church and shit are like. At least there was no kiddies. Well, depending on what age he bought the Henry the Hoover up. Regardless, um, and the stockings, a new kind of fetish, that, that to me screams some sort of like weird homelander shenanigans, putting stockings on and drinking some milk or some shit, maybe, I don't know. Uh, but he's like, oh, he sat there getting the Henry out and he said, oh, I've, I've not had my diabetes medicine, you know, I need, I need a Mars bar. Diabetics always go for Mars bars. That's a fact. I know one because I work with a genuine Scott Magson. I've got diabetes and uh yeah i need a mars bar or else i can't stop and then there you go that's his excuse apparently i don't know if any bought it i don't know if he's been now sent to, i don't know if you can jail for that the fact that he did it in the church must have been like a bit of a uh like a, like a danger wank you know when people go out there and you hear them documentaries about people doing sexual acts near stuff where they can get caught people like a, a kink about getting caught don't they that's kind of like him being like, I'm very close to God and I'm doing an inappropriate act. Oh, God, can you see me? Kind of tempting fate shenanigans. That's what kind of episode he was on. Um, the the uh, Just Stop Oil people might be coming uh, a bit more of a nuisance to stuff uh, because the... The police are running out of vegan meals because they've arrested so many Just Stop Oil protesters. I didn't even realise... Well, I should have realised. I should have categorised the vegan-y uh, sort of people, the peace love bro people. Just It should be the same category. Of course it should be. Um, they've got a jail. I didn't realise that the, the, the police give a fuck about when people are in the cells, what they give them to eat. I thought they're just like, here's a bread roll, here's a fucking lukewarm cup of coffee, take it or don't, we don't really give a shit. I didn't realise you can get locked up in jail and they're like, actually, I'm vegan. Can I have... What can vegans eat? Something that's come from uh, gr grass. Can I have a lettuce, please? 
I think they can eat lettuce. I don't know, because plants are like living animal things, aren't they? I, even, as much as I'm confused about rainbow shenanigans, I'm confused about veganism. Can I, can I please have a bit of, can I just have a stick and tap water, please? I'm assuming they can, no, because that comes from a tree. Either way, I didn't realize when you got arrested, you got a menu. So you, I, I don't know if this is safe. So if you're, if you come in and you're like a proper horrible psych psychopathic murderer, Ghostface gets arrested, for example. Well, he, no, he doesn't usually, but in this case, he does. He's in jail, he's chilling. He's like, actually, can I, can I have the, the vegan option? And they're like, yeah, no worries. You killed 20 odd people, but we'll make sure you have a nice meal. I didn't realize that was a thing. But now the, ve the, the vegan just stop oil people are stopping the oil, getting locked up, and then they stop themselves from eating because the police are like, listen, we've run out of Marks and Spots' fucking vegan shit. You're going to have to have a Greg's. Love. They fucked it for themselves. Back down to Florida because we love a good Florida man. Incident, right? I don't know where I feel about this one, okay? I think we could. Well, the f story is first of all, Florida man arrested for attempting to barbecue uh, child molester. Right, I think we can all agree. Well, unfortunately, we can't all agree that um, pedophiles and nonces are awful, horrible creatures that probably should be chucked down a deep well and then put water in and then just put some like medium style sharks that can fuck them up a bit. Um, they, they deserve some horrendous punishment. But I don't know about, but I, I don't know. I, I don't, oh, is this one that we should be like, no, he's an unsung hero. He's the, he's the symbol that the city needs. He's a vigilante. He can do what, what we cannot do. You know, is he a Batman type figure now? I don't know why he was, it depends. If he was going to barbecue them to then go and eat them, or if he was doing it in a very pagany, medieval-y sort of way, where they, you know, the proper one, the, the, the thingy getting drunk, chucked around and they got an apple in the mouth and what. I don't know. Because you don't want to be like, well, it's a bit harsh. Don't do the nonces like that. Because usually you should be like, ah, the nonces get to France. Uh, not calling French people nonces, but just get to France. They are a bunch of tractors. And and I, I don't know. Where, what, do we, what do we do with this? How... <laughs> Why are you in jail? I tried to cook a nonce. I did, maybe he did try and eat it. Maybe the, the, the flesh of a nonce is sweeter for some reason. I don't know. That felt weird to say is in itself. I don't know. I hate that I'm the poster child for nonces as well. I'm a 31-year-old bloke that dosses with Spider-Man. <laughs> You have to let us give us your thoughts and opinions on that. But there we go, visuals. That was this week's news. But before we go, we're going to get a camera chameleon. Give you the canoesy. Oh, we've just done the. Oh. Give you the sports and weather where this week we've got. Oh, we've got drunk girl versus door. And we've got another drunk guy attempting to walk. I love a drunk guy attempting to walk. But here we go. Here's your sports and weather. It's the sports. But it's not really the sports because we don't actually talk about sports. I used to do sports, but then I got really fat. This is, uh, we'll call her Caroline, I don't know why, uh, Caroline, Caroline, that's why, uh, she's, she, unfortunately, it's, it's drunk girl versus door, and you, first you think it's quite funny, but she fairly does hit that door with some thing, it sends her right back, it's now, of course, uh, every animal on the planet, every sidewalk, every building, every door, every, an object, uh, a million, drunk humans, zero. Drunk humans are the most, uh, it's probably us at our lowest peak, isn't it? We are really bad when we're drunk. Um, but door absolutely fucked this girl up. Uh, this, she has pressed charges. They are impending. The door did happen to be male. So this is now being treated as a sexism slash racist crime. Will the door win that act? I don't know, actually, because she might have assaulted it, because she kind of planted her red on the door, actually. So maybe she's getting done for this for the isms. Time for the weather, where I'm not going to tell you anything about the weather. If you do need to know that, just look outside your window. For this week's weather, it's raining, just tornado. It's tornado season. The Twisters film's out very, very soon. This is what caused it. I, just, I love how drunk people have that. Like, for whatever reason, they, their centre of balance or their centre of gravity or whatever just sort of it ceases to exist for a while, and they're just like... And it's like they're being pulled in every direction by shit. It's so weird. It's so bizarre. I love nothing more than when I come home late for whatever reason, been at cinema or if I've had a, a rare night out or some shit, and just because I'm sober, I don't drink, just walking down the street with a pizza, just watching all the drunk people just trying to get the way home. They're just, oh, it literally is the closest to being inside of a zombie apocalypse I've ever seen. It's just beautiful. Just, oh. I mean, hopefully they get home safe, but they're just, oh.
Oh. And then if one ever tries to speak to you for like a light or some shit, you, this is quite cruel. Do you know how many times a drunk person's asked me for a light, they've put the fag in the mouth, I've pretended to light it and I've not let it, and they're like, thank you. And they're smoking away on it and nothing's happening, but they're that pissed, they think this. <sighs> It's a secret guilty pleasure of mine. And before we go, visuals, you know we've got to wrap up with Dan's happy end, and we've got to slather you up with some goodness to warm your tummy heart. Uh, and it, we're back to more drunk shenanigans. We're back to more pissed people being the pissed. Uh, let's -a go. Oh look, look, it's it's that fat lad. It's Dan, ugly Dan, and he's really really fat. Jeez, fuck no, 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 you scaboo. He's the fuck are you? What are you doing, little fucking naughty? It was being naughty there. He's, he's one of, it's another one. Of, they're just beautiful to watch. How can you not love what they should literally do? I don't know if anybody said this joke before or anybody's had this idea, but they should genuinely have an Olympics for absolutely off their face people. Imagine like the 100 meters or, or uh, whatever the one is where they do a few times around like a million meters or so. The one like Mo Farah does. Imagine that race with these. You'd be there for fucking ages. Like they'd have with diagonals, backwards, for whatever. Some of them would be KO, but just uh, they're running like that. Th I would watch the Drunk Olympics. I'm sure that is a joke somewhere. I haven't made that up. Hello, visuals. That was this week's uh, sports and weather, and this week's dance happy ending, and this week's news ultimately. If you did enjoy the video, please. Button. And uh, remember to go check out Dan's Talking Crap on Spotify. It's spelt like it sounds. Link won't be in the description because I'm a fucking useless cunt. Please go check it out. And like I said, if you did enjoy the video, and uh, visuals, have a fantastic weekend. Have a fantastic day. The live action Spider Mans are getting played again in cinemas from August to September. Great news! More importantly, thank you so much for watching. Remember, always keep being you and keep on and keep it on. Don't ever, ever, ever. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep the awkward silence till I think of something. I chewed my dog so much the other day. So many hairballs, like not hairballs, but like I was pulling out hair for days. When we fight, he's saggy, so I chew. There was lots of it. Don't, don't, lots of hair. <laughs>